what is going on guys, Monk7Mad here with part 2 of the scenery tutorial and today's video I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can because uh, this is only part. It's going to be adding the sky and the floor material so I'm going to quickly show you how I make it. Um, so without further ado, let's make the material for the floor. So first of all let's go to create new material, double click. I'll open the window so you guys can see it. Um, right, first of all, let's go to the color tab and let's open up a load image and let's choose a image which we find suitable. I'm going to use this image here so that we've got a nice um, floor texture. Then we're going to go into the drop down and go on to layer and we'll click on the layer box and we can change other things in here, more effectors. You can add even more images if you want to. So I'm going to just chuck in a material or two. I'm going to change the blend mode of this one to soft light and change the opacity to 15. For those of you that think I might be going a little too fast, I do apologize. Time is quite tight on this video, but I will put the material in the description so that you can keep up with it. And this one, we're just going to turn the brightness opacity down so we get a dark material then we're going to go to diffusion checkbox and let's load myself the first image that we used and let's turn the mix strength down to about 85% and the brightness to 85% okay so that's looking quite dark grungy and all round just what we need for the scene. Let's enable luminance to give it a little bit of brightening, not too much, only something like 3% would be needed. And then we're going to go into environment, load an environment image, such as the same one we used in the first place. And let's turn the multiply down and the brightness down. So the brightness is 15, and let's have the mix strength as 20. And then we're going to go into bump, and again the same image. If you guys want to know how to make proper materials, I'll do a dedicated video to that. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments section below. So let's have the strength as negative 75. It's looking good. Then we're going to go on to specular. Let's change the width to 40 and the height to 15 and let's go to displacement checkbox and let's go drop down noise let's change the height to something like 15 change the strength to negative 25 or negative 30 and then we're going to go on the noise and let's make it a little bit less blurred uh, so let's go and choose let's use this one wavy turbulence and I'm just going to turn the global scale up to 200 from 100 and I'm going to change the low clip to 5 and the high clip to 90 so that's good and that's the material that we need. Let's close that off. Let's go to the actual material itself. Change the projection from UVW to cubic. And let's just change it to seamless. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's just have a quick render preview. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. If you want to make adjustments then you can do but for the time being I'm going to leave it like that. Let's go and make a bit of grass and a sky as well. So let's make the sky first. Uh, so the floor object, physical sky and the physical sky we can do it dynamically or manually. Um, well actually it's the same thing. Dynamic means you can do it yourself in real time so I can change the time from the time and location box and it will change the scene accordingly or you can go to something like basic and use a preset so let's load a sky preset from the basic tab 
I'm going to use this one here, which is the one I most commonly use. It's just my personal favorite. And at the moment it's too bright. So let's go to the sky object. And, uh, sorry, not sky, the sun object. And let's change the intensity from 250 down to something like 70. And I'm going to change the color from yellow, which is quite warm, to a more blue, cold color. Uh, maybe a little bit more gray, just to make it seem a little bit gloomy. And then we can go into the basic tab again and if you want you can add something like an atmosphere or any of these sort of things um, you can uncheck clouds if you want I, I wouldn't personally but you know you can do um, if you actually do check something it'll actually add another box so I can now select the atmosphere box I'm gonna change the intensity to 30% intensity 10% horizon fade and the rest I'm going to leave as they are and that's the sky so I'm going to give a very quick render to a bit where we get both the sky and the floor at times you might find that the sky actually um, looks like it's got a line, a cutoff line and some of them do um, so like if I just quickly save the angle we're at the moment so I'm just enabling a camera so I can come back to that point whenever I like. You can see, if I lower the camera here, you can see that we've got this sort of cutoff line. Uh, that's to do with the sky. You can either do, you can do one or two things. You can either, one, rotate the sky a little bit, like so, until you sort of get it hidden. But I would only do that in very small amounts. You don't want to do that very much because it's not really what you probably should be doing. Uh, alternatively, what I tend to do is I rotate the landscape uh, so it's just slightly angled. If I turn to the side, you can see it's... Ooh, a bit far, zoomed out. You can see I've got it sort of slanted. Just to sort of compensate for the, the floor. And it's just up to you to sort of modify the positioning of the camera to, to make it work. Or make the landscape bigger. Uh, okay, so now that we've done the sky, let's just do the grass quickly. So let's go to simulate um, hair object and add hairs. And what it'll do is add a hair object here on the right hand side. So we need to go then to the guides page, or the guides tab. And then click on the little dark arrow here on the side with a circle around it. And then choose either the landscape from the actual sort of layers box here or actually on the screen you can see it's highlighting it for us uh, if I click on it there um, wow you can see the count for the actual grass is ridiculous uh, so I'm gonna just take off one of those digits to cut it down quite a substantial amount okay so we can see the hair objects here and it's also auto created a hair for us um, wow that's quite intense. Uh, right, so let's just change the segments down a little bit to save us a bit of rendering and let's change the length down to something like 30. Just make it 20. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go to uh, right, let's, let's edit the material. So if we double click on the hair material, it's automatically been chucked into your materials box. Let's go on to color um, change these to green I, I don't change the positioning I just change the color at the top and let the gradient remain the same uh, turn the specular down something like 5% and sharpness up to 85 oh no let's go 80% or just 80 uh, thickness let's make it Tip a bit thicker, so 0.3, and let's have a variation of 0.7. Um, length will have it vary 43% of the time. Let's have it scale different 47% of the time. Let's give it some frizz to make it a bit more randomized. Let's give it some variation on both. Um, then we'll go to something like bend. Let's give it 2% and 5% variation high and let's give it a little twist a light twist so 
eight percent let's turn the amount down to fifty percent I'll put this material in the description as well uh, so that's that's okay so I'm gonna quickly save this and I'm gonna give it a quick preview render so let's pause it quickly okay so this is a very quick render you can see that there's some empty patches and not so empty patches um, what you can do is modify the material again based on this you maybe want to make it less green or give it a different backlight color make it look a bit more sort of decay like and also it was quite empty so if you want to add more hairs in you can go to this box called fill hairs and just enable the fill hairs and change the count to something like I don't know 100,000 something like that it just generates smaller particles that go in between everything um, let me just give it another preview render for you okay so this is what it looks like this time you can see that's perhaps quite a lot of grass um, but you get the gist between the two it's just finding a compromise if I took off maybe one of those zeros again um, then it might be slightly different again you can modify everything here um, as you like I, I mean that's the beauty of it in that you can just simply if you don't like something you can just change it immediately and move on so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I'll put a rendered screen up, what it looks like. And in the next tutorial, we'll be working with the logo, sinking it in the ground, and maybe adding some things like ivy to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. And if you haven't already, go and have a look at my store. Uh, link will be on the screen somewhere. I just released the displacement pack, which is pretty unique. There's all the previews and stuff on there. Um, it's a really nice set of stuff. Um, so I've given you both spherical and cubic previews. Just give a very quick demo. Yeah, so you can see the materials. So if you're interested, take a look. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. And as always, take care.